Hi everyone. If you're following the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard hearing in Virginia, United States, then you'll know that it's very confusing. Um, the timeline goes all the way back to when they first met. And in this video, we're going to discuss a little bit of their case, and then we're going to do a comparison with UK law and what would happen if this were to happen in the UK. Hi, I'm Karen Cole from Legal Minded Friends. And if you're interested in this subject, then stick around for the next part of the video. I'm going to do these videos in timeline, in a timeline so that uh, there will be like a part one and a part two, and we'll see how many parts it goes up to. So you're probably wondering what the heck is going on. Um, this case is different from the um, Depp versus the Sun newspaper that happened in the UK. What is it about this trial that has captivated the world's attention? So let's look at the timeline. In 2009, Johnny Depp, a Hollywood actor, had won a Golden Globe the year before for the film Sweeney Todd. Check out the full list of his films in the link below. In 2009, Johnny met Amber Heard, an up-and-coming actor. They featured acting together on a film called Rum Diaries. This was a novel written by Hunter S. Thompson, and the manuscript was discovered by Johnny Depp, and they were such close friends that Hunter had a wish for his ashes to be fired out of a cannon. Johnny paid for this to happen after his funeral. Anyway, Rum Diaries was adapted into a film, so this film meant a lot to Johnny. While filming Rum Diaries, Johnny and Amber had sparks between them, but because they were both in relationships, nothing came of it. They went on with their lives, and in 2012, Johnny was one of the top 10 highest paid actors, making over $68 million for his role in Alice in Wonderland, where he spoke, get this, less than 661 words, according to Yahoo Finance, making Johnny one of the highest paid actors. The promotion of Rum Diaries was in the process, and one thing led to another, and while they were on these tours, Johnny started dating Amber as their previous relationships had ended. So Amber Heard is claiming that domestic abuse started um, around 2012. In the UK, the courts do consider historical actions on behaviours, and I'm going to give you the legal definition of domestic abuse. It is any um, incident of controlling, coercive or threatening behaviours. This includes violence between those who are age 16 and over, who have been in an intimate relationship, or if you are partners or dating. This includes family members, regardless of their gender, or sexuality. It can also include, but it is not limited to, these types of abuse. Physical, emotional, psychological, sexual, financial, and domestic abuse also includes honor-based abuse forced marriages. Domestic abuse can affect anyone regardless of their ethnicity, age, gender, sexuality, or background. If you have suffered from a sexual, physical, or psychological, including financial abuse, or you're being threatened, intimidated, or stalked by a current or previous partner or close family member, it is likely you're a victim of domestic abuse and you're not to blame. You can see some more of my videos on domestic abuse um, in the playlist. Um, as it will give you more information. Before ending part one, the world is captivated with this level of detail being exposed in this case. You are either part of the Justice for Johnny team or Justice for Amber team. So many people think Amber is not being honest with her testimony and ask, could her legal team quit? In the UK, a legal representative should not knowingly allow a client to lie to the court and give them strong advice to plead guilty if they are guilty, and the evidence put forward should be truthful. 
If you want to know if your legal representative can quit on you, there must be a good reason. The Law Society has some of the good reasons, and I have left a link to their article below in the description area. In part two, we're going to look at what's happening next. So subscribe free so you can be notified when we upload part two. Russell Brand, the chap at the beginning of this video, is one of UK's most passionate comedian. He highlights news around the world, giving his listeners pause for thought. So check him out on YouTube and Instagram. Please like and share this video as you never know who it will help.